Hi everyone. Obviously, this is not a review of Hardcore Justice. Um, I won't be doing one. It's not really a TNA show. It doesn't seem to have any bearing on the storylines or anything like that. So I didn't really see a point. Uh, instead, I'm going to do something that I alluded to in the last one, and I'm going to take a few minutes here and try to explain my feelings on the whole ECW thing. Um, I've said for the last couple of weeks that while I was giving TNA a pass on this, I wasn't really on board with it. And I just wanted to give you guys my two cents from the perspective of someone that's not really drinking the ECW Kool-Aid, as it were. Basically, I've been watching pro wrestling for a long time, but I was late to the party with ECW. Uh, I discovered that company in 1998, and uh, some guys I knew from school were all big wrestling fans. And at the time, I was really into WCW and WWF, but, and I had never really heard of ECW before, but they introduced me to it. Uh, I watched it, and I really liked it. Um, I knew right off the bat that it was something completely different from what I was watching at the time. Uh, the problem was I wasn't able to watch it as much as I wanted to, uh, because a lot of the time I just couldn't find it. You know, TNN never really supported the company. They had it on some crazy schedule. I think they showed it on, at like 3 a.m. on Friday or something like that. So it's kind of rare that I was actually able to watch ECW. Um, I always really enjoyed it when I saw it. But I didn't get to see enough of it. Um, I wasn't able to, you know, immerse myself in it the way I wanted to. So I never got the chance to become one of those hardcore fans. Now, when I did see it, one thing I always really marveled at was the crowd. Because the fans in the crowd always seemed so passionate about it. In, in almost kind of a fanatical way. And to this day, I'm not sure I understand that completely. Um, I have a theory on it. And feel free to tear me apart if I'm way off base here. But the best I can think to describe it is that ECW was a lot like Smells Like Teen Spirit, the Nirvana song. Um, that was a hugely popular song and music video back in the day. And the reason it was so big, I think, is because Nirvana was the right band with the right song at the right time. Um, at a time when the music industry was so stale, with everyone and their brother doing the same damn thing. You had a thousand different rock bands out there. They all looked and sounded exactly alike. And then Nirvana showed up, and they were different. They were modern. They were edgy. And they had a different style of music that you hadn't really heard before, and no one else was playing. And it was exactly what music fans were clamoring for. And I think that's why that song and that music video were as popular as they were. Now, in my mind, ECW was a lot like that. Um, at the time, WWF was doing all this campy, kid-friendly garbage, singing Tutti Frutti, Doink the Clown, stuff like that, whatever. But then ECW bursts onto the scene. They were new, they were edgy, they were geared towards adults, they had balls-to-the-wall action, and they had like, types of characters that you'd never seen before. And for people who were sick of the direction WWF was going in at the time, this was like a life preserver. And they were the right company at the right, with the right product at the right time, and I think that's why people latched onto it as strongly as they did. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't there for that. Now, this all happened before I discovered ECW, so it's hard for me to, I guess, comprehend the attachment that so many people had to it, and that they still have to it um, to this day. And that's what weirds me out the most. Because if you look back on, on the video that's out there, and you take away any kind of bias or personal attachment that you have, and try to be totally objective and just see it for what it is, I think you'd see that ECW, more than any other company, probably even more so than Attitude Era WWF, really personified the 1990s. Aesthetically, culturally, thematically, they really embodied that time period. And unfortunately, they went out of business when they did because they never really had a chance to grow out of that. And as a result, if you look at it now in 2010, I think it seems kind of dated. Really dated, actually. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but it's the same thing as if you go into your DVD collection and you dig out season one of Seinfeld or Married with Children or any other or some other show that you watched uh, back in the day when you were younger. Um, it's still entertaining, sure. But guess what? The hairstyles are dated, the clothes are dated, the pop culture references are dated. It's still enjoyable, but that was then, and time goes on. And ECW is a lot like that. 
I mean, it kind of exists in a bubble now. I mean, we never got to see what it would become if it had stayed in business, but we can guess. And what baffles me about this ECW reunion is that it's happening in TNA of all places. And that just seems so awkward and ill-fitting to me. Because if ECW were still around today, if that company had, ha had gotten the chance to evolve and change with the times, would it look like TNA? I don't think so. If anything, it would look like Ring of Honor. I really believe this. If you're looking for the most accurate representation of what ECW might look like if it were still in business today, look at ROH. In my opinion, that company has a lot more similarities to ECW than TNA does, at least in terms of their levels of success and their business model and stuff like that. So maybe Hardcore Justice would feel more appropriate somehow if it were happening in ROH. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that it's happening in TNA, and I'm interested, but at the same time, I'm not really as excited about it as other people are. So, I guess that's it. I hope I explained this without confusing anyone. I'm, I'm kind of confused by it myself. But, uh, you know, I had some stuff on my mind, and I uh, said what I wanted to say. I might do some more videos like this in the future. I'm thinking about doing another Q&A. Some people have asked me about that. I haven't done a Q&A in a long time, so it might be time to bring that one back. If you want me to do a Q&A, send in your questions, and uh, if I get enough that I like, I'll put something together for you. Uh, but in the meantime, that's all I've got for this video. So enjoy Hardcore Justice if you plan on watching it, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Later.